I am now looking at uh, how to do technical analysis using MATLAB and this is done using the financial time series toolbox. I am looking at a few uh, <coughs> tools here like moving average and Bollinger bands and how you would create uh, that and play around with that and you can automate a lot of things. So in the Excel uh, things become very tricky, you have to open the files, do a lot of things in MATLAB where uh, it would automatically generate and uh, export a lot of things for you. So we would have uh, different formats to play around and get things into MATLAB. It should be uh, from CSV or it should be from file directly or it should be from uh, .dat file. .dat file uh, uh, are text file that are saved with uh, tab delimited CSV comma and you have to use ASCII to fence uh, again uh, to uh, get the DAD files. Now when we look at financial time series we have many ways uh, to get data. Uh, in the new MATLAB in the 2014 version you have a GUI tool which I'll look at. Now the input CSV, if you want to uh, get CSV then you should uh, bring those CSV into matrix and then you would uh, convert those matrix into the financial time series object. That's one way. The other way is .dat file which is uh, uh, tab delimited generally saved as .dat or .txt or you can load and bring all files and all variable <coughs> using the load command. So there are three four ways to uh, bring data into uh, into MATLAB and you can use which you feel like. Uh, there is a GUI uh, to play around with financial time series object. Uh, you need to, you can rename the headings here and you can do a lot of things that earlier you used to do uh, using the code. Uh, this becomes important when you use like moving average. So if you want to uh, play around with uh, moving average then uh, uh, the first command here is uh, MACD input is equal to MACD input. The left one is uh, uh, a, uh, an object that is used uh, in uh, which will have uh, the moving average uh, the MSED is the function and the input should be a financial time series object each financial time series object will have a particular specification like uh, they will have the first uh, column as the dates uh, they would have a start or close and price uh, the name should be uh, in the same uh, format in the same spelling in which MATLAB is expecting so uh, those are the kind of things that you need to do and same with Bollinger band, you have a Bollinger and this my NC in the bracket is again a financial time series object. You will get the output uh, which will have date and uh, uh, and the values, the upper and the lower limit and again that would be a financial time series object. So that would make your life easy. Now I'm moving to uh, MATLAB to look uh, more into this. Now this is your financial time series object. This is the input, this is the mid. If, if I open this, if I double click this, I'll get something like this, the mid values. If I look at my main uh, financial time series object, it should be like description is equal to input.tat. This was the name of the file. This is date and this is close. Uh, this close I have uh, changed carefully. The dates would automatically uh, will get renamed as date. If I want to check uh, all financial uh, time series objects that I have, I'll go to financial time series and these are all. So if I uh, double click on that, you will have dates and close. If I click on a bigger one, this Disney is uh, uh, given by the MATLAB team themselves. So it will have open, high, low, close volume. Just be careful while using the names here. And you can uh, rename these series. <coughs> so this is open, high, low, close and volume. Description. And once you have this financial time series object, you can then run everything. So the only trickier part is using the code and getting uh, those objects and creating financial time series, which is a one-time work. It's a project-based work which uh, you can do and bring uh, that thing into MATLAB. Once you have that financial time series in the good format, then uh, creating all of this becomes easy. To get this out of the system, uh, you can export this financial time series object and save it uh, as a CSV, which would be the next one.